Hi, this is Maria. Thanks for stopping by. Um, today I will be working in my altered book journal in a spread that we started in a previous video. And it is the one with the images from a painting that I had done of my son. And I will be using red fabric and some jean fabric as well. The red fabric that you see here is from an old t-shirt that belonged to my son. He wore it when he was a teenager. It was one of his favorites. And he gave it to me when he was done with it. The jean material that you see here was bought about 25 years ago. And I used it to make jeans for my daughter when I was learning to sew. It is really nice to be able to use special things that are precious to you. If you have some around, feel free to use them instead of throwing them away or letting them sit around, wasting away, because they really add something wonderful and special and unique to your projects. I am spreading right now a wash of green acrylic paint with a little bit of water all throughout the piece. And you see that I have enhanced the original images of the leaves that I had added there with um, collage paper basically by the boy and I enhanced them with green paint and I'm creating more leaves on the side as well on the left side by the tree. Right now I am adding some yellow wash as well just felt that the piece needed a little brightness. I am going to be creating with these two pieces of fabric two belly bands and it was kind of tricky trying to figure out how to create something to hold uh, paper uh, for notes for journaling without completely covering the beautiful images in this page. So I decided belly bands might work okay and I am basically making a collage, creating a cluster with the fabric and as well adding some text paper. I also have added some loose threads from the jean material to the top of the collages and I will be running them through the sewing machine with a zigzag stitch. I am using gel matte medium here to attach a cord to the kite to give it a special touch and what you saw there was the fabric tack glue for textiles that I used to attach the belly bands to the paper. Of course, a piece like this would not be as much fun for me without adding some doodles. So I am using a quite unable signal pen for that. Right now, I am highlighting some of the background texture that was created originally by the collage papers that were attached to the paper to create the background to begin with. And those consist of a napkin and some painted collage papers. And um, it is very fun with a pencil or a color pencil to bring out that texture. It's something I enjoy very much. It gives it a fun effect. And of course I have outlined the tree as well and give it some shadowing. It is fun to see how the images come through from the background. Uh, the circles and the butterfly and seals and different little things to add to the whimsy of this project. I have created this booklet on the left. It's very simple to do with some um, cardstock or scrapbooking paper and I have added some little line paper to the back and I will briefly show you later what the back looks like and I framed it with zigzag stitching. Really very simple to do. I also used a hole punch to create the big circle in the middle as a window because I didn't want to lose all that uh, image that is so meaningful to me. Um, so I can at least see the bird in its nest. Of course, I'm adding stickers and I am um, adding extra glue. I think I'm using gel matte medium here because some stickers are too thick or if they are old, they really need extra reinforcement. So just having some fun here, using up as many stickers as I think fit the theme. I'm using bugs and smiley faces and little critters around and um, just a, a great way to enhance your project, make it more whimsical and get rid of your stash. I see that at one point on the right page, on the top next to the kite, I have added 
a clear see-through sticker that says, I am a child of God. This is a painting of my son sending his heart out to Jesus, so it's very fitting. And I love see-through stickers because they add an extra layer and interest to the page. I am adding stickers that say wolf, that have a dog bone, and a paw print. With a white uniball signal pen, I am just adding some doodling around the edges of my cards. Right here you see a cluster on top of a trifle card that I created. Very simple again to do this trifle card. Basically some scrapbooking paper and some lined paper inside. It's glued together, sewn around the edges with zigzag stitch and added the embellishment afterward. With a white uniball signal pen again, I am doodling around the sun and I am adding some highlights to the tree, some extra detail as well. I am also highlighting the kite. I felt that it needed a little extra pop. I am attaching my cards just to see what everything looks like together, all the elements, and I am detailing around the lamb sticker with a micron pen. I felt it needed something around the edges. I am getting some color pencils here to color around the edges of some of those stickers. I think they are too white, too stark, and so I can blend them into the background a little bit with the color pencils. And I noticed I didn't do the frog, and I will just have to go back and finish that off later. I want to share a word of wisdom and encouragement with you. Proverbs 3 Verses 5 to 6 say, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. I think it's wonderful that we have a great God who is so faithful and always there ready to welcome us and guide our paths and give us some wisdom. Very important, especially nowadays when things are a little chaotic still. I am looking for more stickers, it looks like. I don't think I am happy with the stickers on the booklet that I created on the left. They look too dull, and so I needed a little pop of this yellow card that I put on it. And that card actually says on it, thoughts, and I can write on those lines my thoughts. So it gives me a little extra room to journal. And I decided to add a little extra embellishment with some more stickers and a little more yellow to make it pop. Here you're going to see the back of this booklet. This is before I attach the final stickers. You see how I basically just attach three papers together by sewing it to the scrapbooking paper. And here you see the trifle card. Very simple, very easy to do. I'm attaching it with a paper clip. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with some people you know, and leave a comment. That would be great. I hope you guys take good care of yourselves out there and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. You'll be blessed. Bye-bye.